guys, Wes here. I am in Pasadena, Texas, and I uh, came over on a work trip to Houston, and I'm here through the weekend, so I figured I would try to get a little fishing done. I'm gonna uh, try it out, some pier fishing. I don't have a boat, don't have a kayak. So I really have no idea what to fish with in these areas. Um, and to top it all off, it is freaking horrible weather. I mean, it's downtown Houston was absolutely flooded the other day. People that lived in the area uh, after our uh, meetings couldn't even get home. Uh, they couldn't drive. One of the ladies had to get her husband to drive their uh, larger SUV to come pick them up. So I'm in a rental car have no tools or anything I went by Academy and uh, honestly we'll just see it's a it's a challenge I dropped a hundred bucks I bought some uh, just a few tackle things I bought a compact rod and reel that'll fit in my suitcase to fly home and uh, a couple little things I went as cheap as absolutely possible uh, I think I, I think I ended up with uh which i bought an umbrella also but i think i ended up spending about 80 bucks so here's here's the challenge 80 buck challenge travel fishing but uh all right i'll be right back <laughs> Seabrook is actually where I am. Got down to Seabrook and the dock that I had picked out to go fish on from uh, Google Maps and Fish Brain apparently has blown away. Um, and I can't really find anywhere that looks like somewhere I can get out and fish. So, to be continued, be right back. in Texas. Later. So I'm out here on 
up here, here at Galveston. It's sprinkling rain. I couldn't stand it. These waves. I don't know if it. I don't know if the camera. I don't know if the camera can do this justice. But these waves are hitting so hard, they're rocking the entire dock. Really, really, really hard. I doubt I'm going to catch anything, but maybe some hard heads, if anything. But here we go. Let me show you what I got. Found this ugly stick. It's a uh, it's a four piece design to be able to fit in like a suitcase so you fly with it or whatever. But uh, I picked it up at Academy down here. Uh, pretty cool. I'll keep it with me. If I get anything, I'll let you know. Look. <laughs> Little croco. There's not much going on here. But it did stop raining. So that's a plus. Even when not catching anything, I still love it. done for the day maybe I'll try again tomorrow if a little chill out Peace. where I am so I had to find something that I could put back I didn't want to just waste money on a rod uh, I think this thing was on sale for like 40 bucks at Academy um, so yeah so when I fly home I'll be able to take it with me put it in the back of my Jeep a uh, little rigging and everything with it just on the fly if I just want to stop by somewhere and walk out on the pier or uh, keep it ready to go for the for the kayak if, I, if, if that's the case or store it in my camper, so be a good idea. I think it's a great thing. Great, great thing. It's been a long day. I'm tired. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna edit this video, and maybe tomorrow I'll have something else to send your way. It's about eight, nine o'clock ish. Um, just getting good and dark here in the city. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Wish I could have caught something big. It is what it is. Later.